Everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming, and this is The Walking Dead Season 7 Negan Kill Twist Shocking New Clues. So, you can see right there, front and center today, we are going to talk about Maggie's ring. We're going to talk about what appears to be a ring in a pool of blood, but we're also going to backtrack a little bit and revisit some clues that are just glaring out there that maybe we talked about early on, but because we've been sidetracked with all the new evidence, we've really gotten away from it. So, I need your full input, your full concentration. Please leave your comments below because a lot of these videos are made possible by your comments, the back and forth that we do. So let's take it away and get right to the very first clue. So maybe you should be extra nice to those people in the RV because you never know. Just like that. Be kind to each other like you said, like it was your last day on earth. That is Simon Negan's right-hand man, and that was the roadblock scene early on. So very, very powerful statement. Remember, the people in the RV is really what he focused on. So Abraham is one topic of discussion. Maggie also as well. But keep in mind the spray paint. These guys like to spray letters on people, and you'll see that a little bit later on. So back to the lineup here. Uh, multiple things are being discussed right now. Maggie with the ring there, very evident in the lineup. Some new theories that are out there. Possibly Abraham takes the bat. Could Maggie lose her hand? I know it sounds crazy, but people are talking about it. Maybe Maggie defends herself, reaches over, and then the bat takes it off. But the other question is, did Abraham have a ring? Because if Abraham got beat down, that could be his pile of blood, and it could be a ring that he was intending to give to Sasha. You guys remember the scene with the sun shining through where he said, could we have what Glenn and Maggie have? So leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Now we're going to talk about the swing from the trailer. I talked about this in a previous video, but I do want to revisit it. Trailer swing number one. There were two swings that were shown in the trailer. One, he reaches up. There's the back swing. Look at the images over to the left. I think that's Rosita, and I also think it is Glenn. But he switches and changes targets. And you can see a little bit of a back pedal. We're going to watch it at a more normal speed, and you'll be able to see the twist here. I think he may have chosen Maggie, and then he switches to Abraham to throw the group off. Now, if he initially chose Maggie, you know that's going to get a reaction out of Glenn because we already saw that one time. So here it is, a little faster speed. Once again, back swing, and you'll see the body twist over. Rosita kind of backpedals a little bit. So let's pan out once again, take a look at our lineup. You can see Rick, Maggie, and then Abraham. So if the blood did splatter, as so many are speculating, then that would, uh, would have hit Rick. Who knows what Maggie's uh, role in is at this point. You see Dwight in the background still holding the crossbow. But if he chose Maggie, starts to do the swing, switches over to Abraham. Glenn moves over. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of things that could happen in the scene. You still got Daryl in play as well too. When Daryl comes in and interferes, we don't really know. But we got to talk about Negan's gun. Negan took the gun away from Carl. So does he do the swing? Maybe Glenn comes over, and then the gun is actually used. I've speculated with this in the past. Some people are saying when the scene where Rick gets thrown in the RV and he pulls back, some people can see what looks to be a gun. I don't know. I'm leaving the, the uh, suggestions up to you guys. In this scene, it's a low point of contact. You can still see Rosita. There's no Glenn. So was that the second swing that actually went to Glenn once he tried to interfere? Maybe he got shot, and then he got beat down. Wanted to show you guys this image as well, too. I caught a little flack for it in a previous video, but I did find it. Rick does have the hatchet on his side. Case closed. Rick's axe. Let's talk about the shoes. The boot theory was something I put out there a little while ago as well, too. Abraham's boots, and then you saw this image. So I was convinced that it was a tribute to Abraham because I even found this poem. And fallen soldiers, evidently, uh, putting sand in the boots is a big deal. So this one says, no stockings by the mantle, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures of far distant lands with medals and badges. So that was enough for me. You know, seeing this image, and these images are starting to show up from AMC. But I went and researched a little bit further and found out Eugene actually has boots that look closer to the boots that were, were on display there. And there was sorghum grain growing beside it. So is that potentially a tribute to Eugene? Now, you may say Eugene's been spotted, but let me go to the Spoiling Deads fan page and show you some images that they have posted over the last three or four months. Here's Daryl walking with Negan. Spray paint. Got the letter A on his shirt. We got another image with Sasha and Rosita recently filming. Could be some revenge going on. This was a very popular scene. You can see Carl. You can see Rick. You can see Rosita. Also, Michonne. So now we only need one more person. There's Aaron. So Aaron makes seven people that have been spotted have been actually photographed on set which concerns me because these four people have not been photographed anywhere. No pictures of Eugene, Glenn, Abraham are obvious, but not even Maggie. Now, in reading the Spoiling Dead's fan page, they say Eugene and Maggie have been spotted, but we have no pictures verifying them whatsoever. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you think Maggie and Eugene are still in play.
So lastly, I want to talk about Glenn finally running out of time because so many times he's dodged death. I mean, we know in Terminus the ultimate foreshadowing with the bat. Also, the scene with Nicholas, the dumpster scene, will never be forgotten. But something has recently surfaced with Herschel's pocket watch. And this is what I want to discuss because the theory that's out there now, it's starting to make its waves, is this is not Maggie's ring. It's not Abraham's ring, but is the remnants of Herschel's pocket watch, a little bit of the watch and also the bezel. I couldn't blow it up enough to really get kind of a good gauge, but I'm relying on all of you to let me know if you think this is actually a legitimate uh, argument at this point. So could Glenn have interfered and potentially pulled out the pocket watch? It got smashed in the fray. Let me know what you guys think. I know it's a lot to digest in one episode. So many different things out there. Could it be a ring? Could it be a watch? Could it be cartilage? That's what I'm hearing. Could it be the remnants of Maggie's hand? Did Maggie interrupt and uh, try to save Abraham? I mean, there's a lot of different things to talk about. Nothing is off the table at this point. Thanks for all your participation. My name is Killshot. Give this video a thumbs up and look for more videos soon. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.